So tonight I have a little treat for you. Now, do you remember last summer when we had an invasion in the Avery porch of the uh, orb spider? It was a, a normal garden orb weaver, <coughs> and uh, although she was rather large, she, uh, oh, let's get in here, she built her web across this area here. And slowly but surely, she realised that she had to leave this gap for me to come in. She lived up in this corner down there, and she did have an egg sack. And I have to admit that I have checked it every so often um, just to see if it's uh, if it's um, viable or not. I don't think it is. Oops, there's there's a little orb weaver. If I can possibly possibly zoom in on him not very easily where is he there he is there he is little orb weaver now you'll notice oh he's coming around the other side that's not terribly helpful but you'll notice that he has quite um a quite a lot uh, quite detailed markings on his abdomen uh, and his his bulb the bit at the back uh, is not shiny it's matte not as matters as, as uh, oh good heavens, there's a little cat there. Oh hello, oh, hello my little. Oh no, frightened him away. Okay, uh, not as mat as uh, the furrow orbs. Oh no, that's set off the the bloody. <sighs> Shh, be quiet. Shush, shush, go away. I'm trying to show you something special here because. Is it round there? No, she's gone, okay. Uh, because, where are we? Where is he, where is he, where is he? There he is, there he is, there he is. You possibly can't see him very well. But look at his abdomen. You notice that it reflects light. You can see it almost glowing. And he doesn't have a specific pattern. He more more likely has a sort of um, almost a two-tone, like sort of creamy towards the base, and then a sort of orangey, browny, chocolatey colour further up. Yeah, there we are. There we are. Turn round, then you can see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> focus, focus, focus. doesn't want to come out and play now but I'm pretty sure you see unlike the one in front do you see the one in front where's the one in front there that's your normal orb up there your normal orb weaver and that is your false widow there are a couple of different types of them in this country and that is definitely one of them. Never seen anything like it. He, he is very um, shiny, really shiny, as if somebody's polished him. He's also absolutely terrified. When I first came round here he was busy doing his little work and now I can't get him to come out. <laughs> Well, that's a better example. This is a, this is a, another orb. 
another false widow, sorry. Can you see how shiny it is? And see it doesn't it it doesn't really have like the same sort of patterns as an orb. It's more just like two toned. Oops, can't I can't get him I can't get him any uh clearer. He's a lot smaller as well. But there we are, you see. Two. Two that I've seen so far. False widows. <clears throat> the rest of them are like that one there. Can we see him? He's a furrow orb. You see how his, his back is so matted in terms of um, not reflecting light that it almost looks wet but in a in a different kind of he almost looks moist. Furrow orbs are more closely related to orb weavers. Sorry, but to funnel spiders, hence why he's like crouched up like that in a sort of sort of almost a, a funnel, not quite. Uh, whereas the other one, the orbs, whether they be false widows or not, are on webs properly spud webs that we also have house spiders in here I don't know if there's one I could show you there he is do you know these things are so bloody reliable it's unbelievable let me try and show you him without you uh, without disturbing him too much there he is Zoom out a bit, there we are. There he is. That's a, that's a, he might be a furrow, it's difficult to tell. Difficult to tell if he's a furrow or if he's more, um, more of just, just what I call a house spider. I can't remember what they're called, but they're the ones that, that are, that don't spin webs, really, and they just generally tend to, is he out again? Not really. There he is. That's that's the one I was trying to show you before. <coughs> so, they all come out at night. They don't harm the birds. Uh, in fact, if anything, the birds are likely to eat them. Um, they do bite. The uh, well, all spiders bite, but um, the furrow orbs and. Uh, the furrow orbs and the, the normal orbs and the house spiders they don't really bite in terms of anything you can feel um, some of the larger orbs do I suppose but not really uh, wolf spiders aren't very nice but those um, those orb spiders they can bite uh, you're talking bee sting, wasp sting type ouch, not, not really not really anything that's um, dreadfully uh, painful, I don't think. 